Tebow provides a number of build tools to accelerate and streamline the creation of customized Linux images for our LTPP 3G2 and its plus one CPU. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use a Docker container and our scripts to effortlessly build a custom image based on our Ubuntu-derived distribution. For this process, you'll need about 20 gigabytes of hard drive space on your computer, the Docker desktop application, an SFTP client, an LTPP 3G2, jumpers, and a micro SD card or a USB flash drive. We also highly recommend that you prepare a USB cable with at least one Type-C connector, and a serial terminal emulator, such as IONINJA. First, we need to pull the Docker image. Assuming you've already installed Docker Desktop, you just need to open a terminal and run the command in the video description below. After Docker is done downloading the image, run it from the Docker Desktop app. Make sure to give it a local host port, which we'll need later to extract the image. Now, click the icon to open the terminal for the container. As we're going to use a bash script, you'll first need to input bash to get to a bash shell. Now we need to change the root directory to the container. We've created a handy script for this, you can see its location in the video description below. At this point, you can make any changes you want to the image. For example, you could install packages you need, or even remove those you don't want, to minimize the installation footprint. In this demonstration, we're going to update all the existing packages, and then install the SoCat utility. First, enter apt-get update. When that's complete, just run apt-get install SoCat. That's it. To leave the container, use the exit command. Now, navigate to the forward slash root, forward slash sp7021 folder. Use the make command to begin the automated build process, which will include the changes we've made. This will take a few minutes, so feel free to take a break, or do something else on your computer. After the build finishes, we'll need to extract the image. There are various ways of doing this, but for this demonstration, we'll use SFTP to simply copy it out. In your SFTP client, connect to localhost, with the port you assign to the container. The username and password are both root. Navigate to the forward slash root, forward slash sp7021, forward slash out folder, and download ispboot.bin. Now, Copy the file to the micro SD card or USB flash drive that you'll use for installation. With your LTPP 3G2 powered off, insert the installation media. If you're using a micro SD card, you'll need to jump CN10 and CN11. If you're using a USB flash drive, you only need to jump CN11. These jumpers are on the right side of the board, next to the MD and RST buttons. We highly recommend monitoring the upgrade procedure via a serial terminal. For this, you'll need to connect a USB cable between your computer and the Type-C connector on the board. Then, open your serial terminal emulator software. Now, power on the board. The upgrade procedure will begin automatically. In your serial terminal emulator software, open a serial connection to monitor the process. You'll know it's complete when ISP all done is displayed in the terminal. Remove your installation media and the jumpers, then restart the board. Your customized image is now loaded on the LTPP 3G2 and ready for use. For example, here we run the socat command to verify that it's installed. Using a Docker container provides you with a consistent and stable starting point for developing your projects. Tebow scripts then make it easy to modify the base image, build, and export. Overall, this process is far faster and more reliable, not to mention more convenient, than creating a VM, downloading repositories, and building everything from scratch.